السلام عليكم good afternoon and welcome to knowledge talks a weekly entertainment and knowledge sharing program at live specifically to share with you topics that contribute knowledge to the society Every week, Knowledge Talks hosts and invite guests that are experts, professional, and leaders from the field that bring wealth of knowledge to you. Knowledge Talks also highlights and promotes talents in the country that contribute knowledge and success to the nation. This program, ladies and gentlemen, is a weekly session that I will have with you every Tuesday at 5 p.m. I'm your host, Tarek Halal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank. For an hour, you're bringing you free knowledge at your doorsteps on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Okay, stay tuned after this music break for today's interesting interview. Welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarek Khilal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank, with you here live today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. A female working for a company, but also has a passion to do more after working hours. The question is how to manage your time at work. How to manage time at home and also how to pursue your interests outside work while ensuring all three elements including family is intact. Well, my guest this week on Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen, is Zuena Saeed Al Ghaithi, the founder of Cheese Mania. Zuena started as a passion at age of 14 years old and today serves customers like PDO to over hundreds of customers and growing all that from home. Zuena will be sharing with us her journey and what it took her to start the business despite all the challenges and despite being an employee. And that is something very, very interesting. Especially you find a lot of people today who are working and thinking about starting their own business. Many, many females who are very talented out there and they say, I have talent in art, I have talent in cooking, I have talent in baking, I have talent in a number of things. But the question is, I want to go out there and do business. How do I do that? And here's a good example. Here's a great example from Zuena who came all the way and said I have done it and I would like others to know about it how did I do it Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Zuena how are you doing today Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I'm good alhamdulillah Great to have you today here on show Thank you very much Zuena, the thing about you that I like, you are very, very presentable. You're always smiley. You're always nice. Whenever I see you at office, you put the smile in people. Thank and I'm, you. And I'm very happy to have you in the studio today. Uh, 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 and, and I'm very happy to see this lovely, sweet, yummy on our on our studio here. Could you please tell us about these cakes you got us today? Well, uh, these are the cheesecake, mini cheesecake. Okay. Yes, a, a, a classic mini cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Um, I I made for you today because this is one of the best uh, flavor of my customer who love. Uh, this is one of the best flavor my customer love mostly. So I said, let me share with you today uh, my best cheesecake flavor. Your best cheesecake, yes. yummy! Now let me tell you one thing. Yeah. I am on diet, but I used to love eating a lot. And I, although I stopped eating many sweets, but I'm gonna eat this. This looks yummy. This looks tasty. This looks like you know. It has all the great stuff in it. <laughs> and by the way, there are less in sugar. So oh, that is yes. nice. So this Very, is healthy as well? Yes, somehow it's healthy. Anyway, okay. Because so, less in sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm. So so, so you're saying it's less in sugar. Why normally cakes have a lot of sugar, right? Most of the cake, yeah. Yeah, and but yours is less in sugar. Yeah, I'm trying to minimize the sugar as much as I can. Fantastic, yes. fantastic. Mm-hmm. And tell us how is this cake made? I mean, uh, I'll try to describe it. I see uh, some design of... Uh, I see the strawberry okay. with yummy. Okay. I see... Uh, uh, the cake which is around shape and ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna be posting this yummy good looking cheese cake from cheese mania on the uh, social media platform to see how it looks like but then I'll try to describe as much as I can so it's a I see the cake I see some 
grapes not sure it's a grape it looks like a grapes to me no, they're uh, blackberries blackberries yummy yes. but blackberries are good uh, for 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 i mean they're healthy stuff right? yes they I are mean, uh, yeah. yeah so that's good yeah. and and then there's the strawberry and uh, uh strawberry sauce as well it's a homemade strawberry sauce okay yes and and what else uh the base of the cheesecake it's a biscuit well uh, biscuit. My, yeah biscuits okay. uh, it's a digestive biscuits okay uh basically my cheesecake uh homemade mm-hmm Uh, I I make them from the scratch. Okay. Uh, when it start to the biscuits, okay, biscuit I got from the shop, but okay. all the ingredients are from my my own. I create all the ingredients. Okay. So Mashallah. this one it's a, a digest biscuits. The one below the, the, the lower the base bottom one. of yes, this. Yes, the okay, base one. Yeah. And this one is the the uh, the middle part on it's top a, of the yes. biscuit. Yeah, the... on top of the biscuit it's a cheese okay uh, I'm I'm using Philadelphia cheese, one of the high quality cheese, also Philadelphia cheese. Okay. It's is that uh, healthy? It is. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's a Philadelphia cheese with other some ingredients. I've got some secret ingredients on it. I like that. Yes. You know, what? we're talking about the secret ingredients now. I yes. see these big companies like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and so on. Yes. What they have is they, 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 they introduce their, 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 their product. And here an example is like Coke introducing the Coke. And then it tastes, wow, so good. Uh, not that I drink it now. I've stopped drinking uh, all those, those fizzies. Okay. Uh, with all my respect to all the companies that are out there. Uh, 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 but again, they have secret components inside that they, they don't share them. Yeah, exactly. Is that what you do too? I do the same. I yeah. respect that too I've as well. I've got secret ingredients which, which I don't share. Can I ask you this question? Sure. As a very general question. Mm-hmm. Does this mean all the people who make cheesecakes, cakes, and, and, and bake all these kind of nice food have secret, secret ingredients that they don't share? Definitely, they do. Okay, yeah. that's how it works. Okay, yes. so you got your secret ingredient inside I, that. Yes, yeah. I twist with other ingredients. I well, I like to do research online, so I take ingredients from here and there. Okay, I twist with my own secret. Okay, and it comes out the yummy cheesecake. Lovely. That's yes. a creative thing at the end of the day that you produce it by first thing doing your research. Okay. Obviously, yes. you're saying online reading about the different thing reading and then putting yes. one component. chemical nice mashallah component yeah. and you to use it yeah. share it with me at the end of this program huh? well inshallah <laughs> just and, kidding uh, <laughs> okay this one is a strawberry sauce it's also it's a homemade my so all my all, all of my sauce it's a uh, homemade mm-hmm. i don't i don't go for the, i don't go for the supermarkets and get them from, from the tin mm-hmm. it, all i made from from the scratch from the okay. scratch yes okay so this one it's a strawberry sauce and this one are uh, strawberries plus blackberries strawberries plus blackberries yes. and you've got the cheese uh, and and be, uh, in the middle layer and then on the base or the bottom of the uh, this cheesecake is a biscuit that's exactly. what you have yes. is this the only product you have well first thing what do you call this is this is a normal one classic one the classic the one classic one mm-hmm. i've got different type of cheesecake okay well i've got oreo cheesecake i've got this one classic i've got chocolate and uh dates i've got okay. dates i've got uh, kunafa cheesecake which i uh, introduced them in ramadan okay and i've got uh pumpkin cheesecake so i've got like kind of six or seven flavor cheesecake nice yes. nice and i do mini and big ones as well is this mini or big one yeah this is the mini one this the, is the mini yeah, one the, mi- the big one i've got like one kg two 1.5 different sizes Okay. It depends on customer's demand. Okay. If I eat uh, one or two of these, would, would they gain me weight or something? I mean, um, I'm planning to take this at home today. Well, yeah. <laughs> And you need to go to gym and work out. <laughs> yes. I do that, so no problem. Right? <laughs> I know. I can have that. That's, that's good. I'm going to have them, uh, inshallah, today with the family at home. Inshallah. Now, Cheese Mania. That is the name of your brand or your business. Is that right? Yes. Why Cheese? Why Mania? Cheese Mania. Why not Zuena? Well, uh, first of all, this name was chosen by one of my best friends. I, I I was talking to her that I'm planning to open the business. I told her that I'm looking for the nice name, not mm-hmm. my name, use my name or other kind of name. Then she, she did a research and she came out with like five names. She sent it to me. Okay. Then I go through all the names. I found out uh, I love the cheese mania because it's explained about the cheese. Yeah. Cheese itself. Yeah. Because yeah. my product, Mostly, I'm uh, using cheese. Uh, mostly use cheese. Yes, Philadelphia because cheese. all the cakes, mm-hmm. I'm using cheese. Okay. So when I saw the word cheese, I said, okay, this is will go as it will be as my brand. Okay. And, oh, nice. uh, and mania, it's like a passion. Okay. So it's a passion of making cheese. Ah, okay. Well, nice, yes. nice. So yeah. cheese passion. Yes. Nice, nice. Cheese, I, I like, I like that uh, uh, name. Do you pay her for the brand names? Well, she's my very close friend. Yeah. So I pay the house with the cheesecake every day. <laughs> <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. That's, that's so, very, very good. Yes. Now, uh, 
Tell me about now. Before I get into, uh, you already told me that that, that that this is what you have uh, the cakes and the type of cake. You've got the mini and you've got the large uh, cakes that you have. Yes. And uh, the name of your business is Cheese Mania. Cheese Mania. Yeah. You work for a company right now. Yes, I okay. do. Okay, and uh, uh, you work for about I'm sure eight hours in, yes, in, in a company. Yes, mostly eight hours. Yeah. You have eight hours. Yes. And uh, when did you start this business? Well. Uh, It's last year on October, October 10th. Last year, October 10th. Yes, I started official on that date. It's on my birthday date. Actually. Oh, mashallah, yes. mashallah, October 10th. Yes. Yeah, my dad is October 10th, by the really? way. Really? Yeah, okay. he's, he's, he's eight, eight, sorry, but it's in October. Yeah, yeah two days so away. I'm, I'm 10th of October. So. Mashallah. Uh, and um, you started in October, so in, in two months from now, you're going to have an anniversary. Exactly. So awesome. So I'm going to celebrate my birthday plus... Plus Cheese the Mania celebration anniversary. of successful uh, one year uh, anniversary of Cheese Mania, mashallah. Yeah, uh, um, where do you do this business? At home. It's a home mashallah. based business. It's yeah. a home uh, made uh, uh, baking ba- of, of the business. Uh, do you do it alone? Do you do it someone? Someone well, supports you to do it? Uh, most, most of the time I do alone, but I have the helper who she's helping me. Oh, you got a help as well who's helping yes. you do it? Yes. Okay. How did you start doing this business? Well, I started. Basically, I started to do for my family. Mm-hmm. Basically, uh, I started doing cheesecake and cakes and when I was at the age of 14. 14 so, years old, yes, okay. Yes, mm-hmm. I started to do cake. I, I learned from my mom. She, okay. is, she inspired me. She, she used to bake. She used to cook a lot of foods and all. So yeah. I learned from her. Mashallah. I, well, my late mom. Mashallah. Allah yeah. Rahman. Yeah. So yeah. when... When when I when I learned this, I I, I, I started to do for my family, okay. my friend at work, my colleagues. Mm-hmm. So when they tasted my cheesecakes, they were like, Zuena, why are you not starting a business? Because yeah. you know how to do it. It tastes nice. The quality is good. Why don't you implement the business? And every day they were like, try, do it, do it. So then they pushed me to start the business. Okay. I started from that. I started to do at work the family and I, I used to gather the feedback from them how how, how much is cake do you think it was to, to start the business so well, I gather all the feedbacks and I said okay it's a time for me to start the business lovely yeah. so I can we can sum it up as you started at the age of 14 years old but only in the normal cakes I started but the business official I started last year last year yeah. but started with cakes I mean you had the passion of cakes what I'm yeah. looking at is how do you get into this business because first you had a passion yes. mashallah yes. Uh, which is making cakes yes and then doing business you started last year and the reason why you started was is because you're giving cakes to a number of people yes. and people say wow this tastes good yes. I like it it's good why don't you make a business so yes. people have encouraged you yes. so I think it's very very important do you agree with me it's very very important is for you to mingle and be around and surround yourself in an environment of people who are supportive exactly that's the only you do agree with that yes I do because that's the only thing made me who I am now because Mashallah. my uh, my colleague supported me a lot my family my brother so I used to cook every time I was trying to do different flavors and I sent to them can you try can you try so the feedback which I, they gave to me that's made me to start the business Mashallah, Zuena. Yeah. that's fantastic ladies and gentlemen this is a great learning to see you might be having a passion uh, and, and it really does help to be Uh, in an environment supportive environment to be around people who would encourage you uh, in order to give you positive ideas for you to go ahead and start up your own business that is based on your passion and that's what Zuena has done let us take a quick break ladies and gentlemen before we return with our interesting session today Okay, welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarq Hilal Al-Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank, with you here live today on Oman, Red FM 90.4. Cheese Mania is our discussion today, and we have uh, Zuena, who has founded the business. She's also an employee and also does a side business on the side, and she's got delicious cheesecake here but do you have a name for this you said this is called the classic right the classic the original one classic this is the original one the yes. classic and this is the best one you have yes ain't i lucky thank you so much <laughs> now you have the slogan that i've noticed in the brand and the business uh, that you call it where everyone becomes a cheese cake lover what do you mean by that well there is a story behind that slogan um my brother never liked to eat cheesecake because okay. by the way my brother is everything to me 
Because I've got only one brother and he's taking care of me. So he is everything to me. So he never likes to eat cheesecake. And he he's kind of uh, picky, very picky person when it comes to food and desserts. So when I started to make cheesecake, first time I asked him to test. And he was like, I don't want, I'm, I, I don't like cheesecake. And so I asked, I, I, I told him, try, you might like it. Yeah. So from the day he tried the cheesecake, from that day, he never stopped eating my cheesecake. Every day, whenever he saw me in the kitchen baking cheesecake. Where's the cheesecake? Like, yes. Do you have extra yes. cheesecake in the fridge? Where's the cheesecake? And my family as well. Some of the member in the family, now, whenever they go outside, they don't want to eat any kind of cheesecake. They yeah. they want my cheesecake. They want one. Zuena's cheesecake. Exactly. Mashallah, my mashallah. colleagues as well. Some of them, they love cheesecake. So when I when I present cheesecake to them and I'm just looking at them the way they're eating, they're enjoying the cheesecake, and I was like, oh, so now everyone loves my cheesecake. Then I say, Alhamdulillah. Why I'm not coming up with a slogan called "Everyone Loves Cheesecake." That's a really nice yeah, one. That's the story behind. Where so everyone becomes, becomes a, cheesecake a cheesecake lover. That's yes. a very nice yeah. one. So that's the that's the reason behind I come with that, that uh, slogan, where everyone becomes a cheesecake lover. Mashallah. And Alhamdulillah. Yeah, most of the uh, most of the people they be, they they love my cheesecake. Mashallah. Because I'm getting very good feedback from my family, my customers, and uh, plus my colleagues. Mashallah. I How many customers you have right now? Well, um, I'm not counting, but it's Alhamdulillah, big number of customers. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. 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 I know you have served as well for PDO as well. Yes, I've done once. Yeah, yeah the PDO. Alhamdulillah. And that was the major success. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. And inshallah, I wish you more and bigger and grand and titanic success, inshallah. The dunya and akhirah. Inshallah, inshallah, ya Rabbi both of us what now every business has challenges every business goes some kind of turbulence but at the end of the day they do well and that's business yes <clears throat> what are the challenges that you have well online marketing it's quite it's quite a big challenge to the business because mm -hmm. most of the customers are demanding high quality mm -hmm. with a low price okay yeah mm -hmm. so it took me a lot at the beginning to explain to my customer what are my products because my cheesecakes are baked one. There are, there are some of the cheesecake that, there, there are two types of cheesecake. The one which you baked, which my, which this is which the one an I, example of baked, baked uh, cheesecakes, yeah. And there, the other one, which you only prepare the ingredient and everything, you keep in the fridge overnight, then, or up four hours, then you eat. So there's two types. Two types. Good. Tell me more about them. That's very interesting. So there's two, is this the only type or there's other ways as well? Well, what I know, two types. Baking of making one, a cheesecake. Yes. One is putting it, uh, putting the ingredients together, putting it in the freezer, and uh, then the next day, boom. Yeah, from the fridge or freezer. To, because what I, is the difference of the two? I never does the, the normal one because hmm. honestly, I don't like uh, the, the other the, one, which is... Is it frozen? It's not frozen, but the taste is different because mine I cooked. This one, I bet sometimes it stays in the oven for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. The big one, it's say even one hour in the oven. And it gets ready. Yeah, it gets ready. Mm -hmm. So when I test the other one, the one which is not cooked, I feel like I'm eating uncooked uh, cheese or... Okay. And yeah. what is the health precaution for that? For Well, all I same when it comes to health, because it's all, it's uh, I'm talking about the taste. Yeah, you yeah. know about the taste. But what, yeah. is there any health precaution? For example, mm -hmm. you know, um, like people say, uh, um, frozen foods and, uh, you know. Well, it's not frozen. Yeah. Everything is fresh, but let's say I'm using Philadelphia cheese, but the other one they're using like pork or curry cheese. They okay. don't bake it. Okay. So the, the difference is this one is baked one and the other one is... Uh, it's not baked one. Yeah. That's the only difference. The That's way the, of making is different. The way different. of making and the taste is different as well. Okay. Yeah. To me, I love the baked one. That's you like why, the baked yeah, ones? Yeah. All my cheesecake are baked one. Okay. Yeah. Going back about the challenges that you're talking about, saying that... Uh, Companies expect high quality with a low price, and that was your challenge, right? Yes, that's okay. That's that's the challenge until now. All my most of my customer they're asking for the high quality, but they're paying low price. So I have to explain to them that mm -hmm. these one are packed. I'm using one, two, three, four ingredients. It's mm -hmm. consuming my time, especially when they they request for the minis one. It takes a lot of time to do minis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have to explain in detail to them, until them to understand. Oh, this is costly one yeah. it's a bit costly compared. the mini ones are more costly than the bigger ones yes the the, the mini one are more cost but the big one but if uh and the baked one are more costly than the normal one the oh, one okay. yeah reason because this you bet 
Okay. And it's you more use difficult. yeah, you use more ingredients. You okay. use like eggs and other stuff, but there you don't use like egg and other. So you spend more ingredients on this. Okay, on the on these uh, yeah, baked ones. The baked one. Okay. Yeah. So I have to explain to them. Then they will understand that oh, this is takes time, consume uh, takes time, spend more money. That's why the price are high. Okay. And some of the customers they compare they 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 can go like hypermarkets. Mm. Most of the hypermarket supermarket you find you'll find cheesecakes at display there. Mm-hmm. So, of course, you, the price is very less on the okay. hypermarket. Yes, okay. on the hypermarket. Mm. So they will come and say, "We saw somewhere the cheesecake is very cheap. Mm. Why you was the price is high?" Mm. Then I have to explain what I'm doing, the steps I'm doing, and I ask them to taste the cheesecake. Yeah, to buy once and. I told them you'll never regret once you took the cheesecake. Mm. So it's all about explaining to the customers and also giving them a trial, probably a trial. to to, to yes. see yes. Uh, once they taste it and they say, "Mmm." Yes. Then they're not going anywhere else. Yes. Then they'll be like, "Ah, okay, that's why your price are higher because the quality is different as well." Okay. Yes. And uh, what about uh, financial? Any financial issues uh, or challenges? I think that's the right way. Well, financial issues. You mean when I started to open the business yes. financially? It wasn't a big challenge to me because Alhamdulillah, I had a serving. Uh, well done, yeah. well done. So when I started the business, it wasn't difficult for me to start. And of course, I got support from my brother. So uh, when it comes to financially, it, was, it wasn't it was a big issue for me. Well done, well done. And I want to touch on that mm. a bit. So if you look at uh, many people when they want to start a business, the, 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 the options that are available is A, go to the bank. Take a loan, mm. not that is recommended, but yeah. anyway, that's one of the option. Option number two uh, is, uh, which is a very good support now from the government, like uh, uh, from a rough de Sharaka and so on, yes, that yes. they provide you funds yeah. uh, to help you uh, start up your own business. And the last uh, but not least is having your own saving, which I think is the best the out best of all. Way, yes. And you've got saving do. of your yeah, own. Yes. Did you consider getting financing from, let's say, a bank or also? Um, Uh, the government to support you do maybe this and let, uh, maybe later on when i'm planning to open my coffee shop a mini factory oh nice well done yeah, this is one of my plan my future plans so Mashallah. there i will think of going for that for the loan or or something else Mashallah. Yes. another very interesting trait ladies and gentlemen you need to have a vision you need to be forward thinking this is what Zuena is doing she's been thinking of advance not only that she's got cheese uh, uh, mania ca- uh, cakes that she's doing no she's thinking of having a coffee shop uh, she's thinking of having a bigger restaurant where she will think a lot of things that's what visionary is all about let us take a quick break ladies and gentlemen before we continue our interesting session today welcome back to knowledge talks ladies and gentlemen I'm your host, Tariq Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank, with you here today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Now, excellent feedback we just received from someone I respect very, very high, DJ Frank. What he says, he tried your cake behind the studio. Yes. And he said, it's not sweet. It doesn't have jelly. Uh, uh, the, and, and, and it tastes very, very good, too. That's what he said. And he said it's baked. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, he nice. loved it very much. I look forward to have these all today. And grab one. Inshallah, okay. inshallah. No, definitely. I very much look forward to it. In fact, my daughter is also looking forward because I told her that I'm going to go have some cheesecake. And this is going to be a special made cheesecake. So she's very much looking forward to it. So uh, uh, thank, you, thank you very, very much. Once you start, you will never stop. Never stop. Yes. Wow. So <laughs> then I'm going to be bugging you <laughs> like no one's business. Be prepared. No worries. You're... Fast in your seatbelt. So no worry. <laughs> <laughs> Another great advice uh, which uh, DJ Frank shared was the coffee shop. Uh, I like the thought of he said. He says, you know, setting up a coffee shop because he tasted it. Yes. He found that it's nice. And then he says the next step probably of setting up uh, a coffee shop. Yep. Is that part of your plans? By the yes, way? this is one of my plan. I'm inshallah. working on the project now. Well, it's a it's a long term plan, but inshallah, I'm planning to open my my coffee shop. So you're looking to be your own boss, inshallah. Inshallah, which I'll call the cheese manufacturer. Inshallah, inshallah. And then uh, how? Uh, but please, will you you'll be giving opportunity for people to join you and everything, right? Definitely. I can send you my CV, right? Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Being an an employee and an entrepreneur, how do you manage your time? Well, first of all, I can say. Being as a uh, as a now as a redo fam- family, it's a blessing to me because our working hours at uh, at redo is very flexible. Yeah, let's say I can come at seven o'clock, 
and leave three. Or I can come eight and leave. So our uh, times are very flexible. So this is one of the things made me to manage my time. Mm-hmm. And also we've got something called half day leave. So if, I, if I'm loaded with a with an order, I can take a half day leave. I'm just informed my boss that maybe two, three, four days in advance that I have a lot of orders. I need to take a leave. I can take half day leave. So it's all about, it's uh, my working hours are very flexible. Alhamdulillah. So Alhamdulillah. That, that, that helps you. Yeah, it helps me a lot. And I I attend some, some, some of the trainings, which are how to manage your time, time management. Okay. So this has also helped me to manage my time. Okay. So, and most of the time I pack my, I co- most of the time I took a lot of order at the weekend. Well, I know uh, that I'm at home. Mm-hmm. I can manage to do them. Okay. Yes. So you do most of your orders are done during the weekends? During the weekends. Do yes. you do work after working hours? So you work uh, eight hours, I believe, in a company. And uh, do you, you, do you work? Do you go home and work? After yeah, that? definitely. Sometimes I, sometimes I'm in the kitchen until 1 a.m. Until what I am, yes. do you enjoy what you're doing? Definitely, I really enjoy what I'm doing. I love cooking, so I I I don't mind being in the kitchen until one o'clock. Well, it's a big, it's a it's it's not an easy task doing that, but it's uh, because I'm doing what I love. Yeah, fantastic. Yes. So that's so, one of the advice you want to say to people that do what, what you love. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. So that's it. Okay. Yeah. So so that, that that's what helps you is that you're doing something that you love, yes. and then also you've got. Uh, a balance back at work that allows you to go home and do your business the flexibility is there and you think yes. these are very important for anyone that wishes to do business outside uh, their official working hours yes and you think it's working very well for you it is, uh, so far yes it's working very well so far alhamdulillah and another I... great advice you said is that you had your savings put on site prepared and that's what you're using to finance your business yes and that's what has made uh, uh, so far your business successful alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah yeah how do you know if your customers are satisfied with the cakes i mean the people who buy it how do you know that they're satisfied well i i have my own style i do after sale survey oh nice yes. after se- a sale survey mm-hmm. yes uh, so when my customers pick up the cheesecake or whatever if i deliver to them i wait like one day Mm-hmm. The next day, I send an SMS to them and ask them. Most Do you like my cake? Yes. <laughs> how, <laughs> okay. was, how was how was the cake? Okay. Did you like them? Those kind of questions. Okay. So, most of my customers, they give me feedback if they like it or there's something need to be adjusted and all. So, this is when I collect all the feedback, this is where it made me to improve my skills. Okay. Yeah. So... This is how I get to know that my customers are satisfied or not. And mm-hmm. inshallah, soon I will introduce something like I'll have my own link, which it will be when they receive SMS, it will be like uh, they, when they receive an SMS, it will be like from Cheese Mania. Mm-hmm. And there will be like two questions and ask them about the, it will be like a survey, you know. Yeah, it's the same, but now it will be more professional. I'm going to do that. Mashallah. Customer, yes. How you do you, you uh, no. You, uh, I, I, I know you said you're working for a telecom company and uh, uh, this is business, whatever you do. You have a passion, which is making cakes. Yes. Do, have you taken any training in business uh, training, starting up a business, setting up a business or any of the like? Well, so far, not yet. I okay. Was, I, mostly I like reading online. Oh, very nice. And I, my mom used to have background of the business. So oh, I, your, your mom, Allah yeah, Allah, 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 she she uh, she was doing baking as well. Yeah, she was doing baking, and she used to sell. She was selling other stuff as well. So I got this from my mom. Uh huh. Now I understand. Yes. Uh, and the secret you got it from your mom as well. Yeah, that was the old ingredient, but I come up with my own twists. Okay. And I come up with my own it's, twists. It's version two. Exactly. <laughs> refined yes, one. Yes. 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 <laughs> Masha Allah. So uh, you you taken the 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 the, the necessary skills to start up this business from your mom yes, learning right mostly, yes. uh, and you do your own reading online as well yes I'm reading. another great learning ladies and gentlemen you don't really uh, uh, not necessarily need to attend a business school 
thanks to the information superhighway, the internet where you can access, uh, and you've got the Google, Dr. Google. There's a lot of information out there on how to start a business, how to run a business, how to finance your business, how to also oversee the product that you are working on. For example, here, baking uh, uh, cheese. And in fact, as what you have just uh, said before the music break, Zueno, was mm. that this cake is a component of a different other ingredients. That's what you said. Yes, yes. So, and that you got it from the internet. Yes. That's what you've learned. Yes. So you mean uh, the internet has got a sea of wealth of knowledge that one can learn about. A lot. A lot, yes. mashallah. Uh, I like taking ingredients from different uh, area. Then okay. I combine them. I add, I test until I get something which I really want. Oh, mashallah. Yes. And do you, who are the testers that you have? Do you have a specific testers? My family. Mashallah. Uh, and mostly my colleagues. Okay, and how can people add into the list of uh, the testers? You want to be one of them? Oh, mashallah, you read my mind. That was good. Yeah, you <laughs> bet I want to be one of them. I was, thank you for asking. So how do we go about that? Well, don't worry. Soon I'm going to implement something new. I'm going. Okay. Um, I'm planning to implement uh, a healthy cheesecake, which wow. I'll start using the low-fat things. Oh, mashallah, yes. very good. So yeah. you'll be one of the tests, inshallah. Thank you so much. Very much looking forward. Inshallah. Now, you spoke about the business. You mm -hmm. spoke about the idea. Started from a passion. And then uh, the encouragement that you have from family members, friends, colleagues, and so on. And then you started up uh, your, your business from your investment, uh, from your own saving, that is. And mashallah, uh, you have a future plan of opening up a own coffee shop. Yes. Uh, now, tell me, how do you market the business? Well... Social media. Oh, Instagram social... helps me a lot to market my business because most of the, I have, I have not much followers, but when I started to post my pictures on the Instagram, when I opened the account, I got a lot of customers from there. MashaAllah, yes. MashaAllah. So I can say uh, Instagram helped me a lot to market myself. Plus my family, their sendings in WhatsApp groups, my colleagues, I have the best colleagues in, the, in this world because they help me a lot to reach where I am now. Mashallah. They are doing marketing for me. I have the colleagues who they drive all the way from their home to come and take cheesecake. They're buying cheesecake for me. They Mashallah. leave all the coffee shop around and they come to me. Mashallah. And not only that, they do marketing to their family. They send everywhere. Yeah. So basically from my family, my friends, colleagues and social media, Facebook Mashallah. and Instagram. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, free marketing for you. I mean, uh, you know, those are days where you only have got the newspapers, you've got the, the print papers, i.e. Uh, you've got the magazine, you've got the television, you've got the, the radio and so on. Today, social media, uh, and specifically the two has, that has been mentioned right now by Zuena from Instagram, Facebook, you've got even Twitter, YouTube and so on. These really, really helps you go out there and market your products for free. And also in a very, very smart uh, 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 and, and a passionate way. Now, tell me one thing. Yes. Uh, you, you, who, I, I would assume the answer, but anyway, who's your role model? Mom. Exactly. Oh, mashallah. Yes. Allah alhamdulillah. God Allah bless her, inshallah. Yeah, she's, she was my role model. She inspired me a lot. Yeah. So I got everything from her. Most my, of the thing, yeah, I got mashallah. From. And I wish she, I'm if sure she would be very, she would be very exactly, proud of Exactly. I wish she was here today and see what I'm, how I'm doing, how my business growing. Alhamdulillah. But I hope she's in a better place. Inshallah, my husband. Ameen, inshallah. Ameen, inshallah. inshallah. Ameen, inshallah. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a quick break before we continue our interesting session today with Zuena. Okay, welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tariq Khalal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank, with you here today live on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Zuena, before the, uh, while the music break, you told me about the Instagram. Yes. So you've got some inciting uh, enhancement that you're working on. Yes, indeed. And that is? Uh, well, Usually I'm uh, I'm using Instagram. I'm posting my pictures randomly. I don't yeah. like some of them. I took with my phone. Sometimes my brother is taking from his camera. So, but my plan I'm to uh, I'm planning to sign a contract with one of the uh, best photographers in Oman, uh, Faisal Al Shaksi. So he will be taking my pictures whenever okay. whenever there's like events or whenever I display my cheesecake. Yeah. He will be coming and text my, my my pictures and in the Instagram because I came to know that those pictures who are putting those photos who are on Instagram mm -hmm. they reflect me 
because okay. whenever I post picture, people they'll be like, "We saw that. Uh, we saw the picture, and it look yummy." So okay. yeah, 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 I market myself from the uh, from the Instagram. So I decided to have the professional pictures which I can post uh, from Instagram. Okay. So yeah. Mashallah, I received a message from a gentleman Fadl. His name is Fadl Al Rasadi, and he's saying. Uh, please pass on my regards to Zuena. Tell her she's doing very well in the show. I love her cakes and I wish her the success. And please tell her to get me some in the office tomorrow. Wow, that's yeah. good. He's one of our colleagues. He's no? one of the colleagues. So, huh? Now, uh, almost all my colleagues, are, they're sitting next on the radio now. And right. I want to tell my colleague, especially from my department, that yeah. on Thursday they will have free cheesecake wow cheese mania all right ladies yes. and gentlemen free cheesecake for everyone to go and have from zuena mashallah no that's good you know yes. when you do something good you can make other people happy they will yes. always pray for good for you i think yeah. i've always believed in that yes, in fact right. i believe in sadaqa and you know the proper way of doing charity yes. you know you do good you get paid for it and subhanallah says you know if you give sadaqa Yes. where your right hand does it and the left hand doesn't know about it you pay 10 times in this world and exactly. mashallah I, i think what you're doing is good you make people happy they'll be happy exactly. for you this is what i'm Wonderful. trying to do well done yeah. well done can you share with me some of your major milestones uh well when i started to serve a company like pdo okay last time when i got a call from pdo that uh, uh we we would like to order for you, from you like 500 cheesecake minis and i was like 500 I was so surprised uh, to serve a company like PDO. It's not, yeah, it's a, it's a big thing to me because I just started my business. There are a lot of uh, there, there are a lot of companies outside there. Those people that are doing cakes and all, they never get a chance to serve big companies like PDO. So Mashallah. when I got call from them, I was really happy and I said yes, I will do. Although I was like, oh my God, 500 cheesecake, it's not a small amount, but I said I will do it, yeah. and I did it Mashallah. because Mashallah. I did those 500 and I delivered them on time, and well done. they were happy because I was there. I display my cheesecakes. Everyone was coming and grabbed the chicken. They was like, did you do this? They thought it's from one of the bakery and all. I said, yes, I did this and the, the home baked cheesecake. So that was really thing, the really good thing I did. And I was so proud of myself. Mashallah. And also there's another thing which is coming on 30th of August. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's called the Glamour Show. It's a, it's all about uh, uh, designers competition and all. I will be there and uh, I participate as a sponsor so i'll be sponsoring I'll wow be, yes, mashallah I'll now be. you are also sponsoring businesses yes I'll i can be. tell you made a lot of money it's not, no it's not about big money but it's a it's a it's a pride as well exactly well so done my cheesecake will be there people will get a chance to grab the cheesecakes and i will Yummy. be giving out uh, discount vouchers for my cheesecake mashallah, yeah, which will mashallah. be valid for like three months so well done once you get that voucher you can come to me anytime you can place your order you will get your cheesecake done. mashallah yeah. wonderful lovely so this is the big thing which i'm looking forward to do inshallah mashallah and yeah. your future plans is apart from making a coffee shop what else do you have uh well one of the well the uh the merger term the big one is planning to open the coffee shop and mm -hmm. other thing also i'm looking forward to start to start my studies and i'll take some courses mm -hmm. uh regarding uh, cheesecake or other other some dessert because i'm Very looking good. to expand my knowledge not only making cheesecake mostly i want to make s some other desserts I, I, I'm, I, uh, i'm planning to focus on french desserts such as Masha macarons Allah. and other stuff. So this is one of my plans as well, inshallah. Mashallah, yes. mashallah. Anything you wish to share to the audience today? Any advice? Well, one of the, what my advice is, if you like, if you want to open a business, mm -hmm. well, first of all, you have to think of the thing which you like. Okay. Yeah, not just, oh, not just, see someone does this i want to copy and do the same no yes so like myself i started the business of cheesecake because i love cooking Mashallah. so when you want to start a business you first of all you have to have a passion you have to do something which you like uh, secondly business is commitment you have to commit yourself that i'm going to start the business i have to commit myself uh, plus you have to have a time management you have to manage yourself when it comes to business well done. also you have to accept the feedback from the customer if uh, positive or negative you have to accept them 
Very good. Yes. I really appreciate the fantastic advices and that you've shared. The other thing you put in your mind that people will not accept, people will not accept you immediately in the market. So it will take a time for people to accept you in the market. So you will grow slowly. Slowly. Yeah, it's slowly. like when, you, when you, 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 you see a tree, you put the seeds slowly, it grows up and it becomes very exactly. big. Exactly. So Allah, you have to be passionate. You will go slowly. It's exactly the way I am now. I started slowly and Alhamdulillah, I'm growing uh, slowly now. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, and inshallah, alhamdulillah. tomorrow you'll grow to become a great big organization, something like, you know, Apple or so. But not only selling Apple, it should be cheese. It should be Zuena's production. Inshallah. 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 I'm looking forward for that, inshallah, one day. Zuena, thank you very much for joining us today here on Ramon Radio FM 90.4 to share about your success and great journey in baking. And I would like to take this opportunity to wish you the very best and success in all you do, inshallah. Thank you very much, Tal. Okay, ladies and thank gentlemen, you. we've come to the end of our program for this week. I hope you all had an interesting time with us. Let us catch up again next week on Tuesday, same time at 5 p.m. I'm your host, Tariq Al Al-Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank, wishing you all a happy and a pleasant week. Ma'a salama!